Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture from March 26th of 2022, well, it is titled Pluto at Night. So what do we see here? Well, this is Pluto, uh, one of the dwarf planets in the solar system. In fact, one of five that have currently been classified as dwarf planets. And what we see is we're looking at it from behind. Now, this is a view, of course, we can never get from Earth. Pluto is very hard to see from Earth as it is, simply because it is so far away and so small. So we really can't see any details unless we travel out there to see it. And that has been done, done once back in July of 2015, when the New Horizons spacecraft flew by Pluto and gave us some great images and images that we still study today to learn more about this icy world out in the depths of the solar system. Now here is an image, again, we cannot get from Earth because you have to get around Pluto and look back toward the sun in order to see the nighttime side. So Earth, always the daytime side of Pluto faces Earth, but to see the nighttime side, we actually have to travel out there. Now, when we do that, we also can see Pluto's atmosphere. Pluto has a very thin atmosphere, a lot of mainly nitrogen gas, because most things at these incredibly cold temperatures will freeze out into ices on the surface. So typical, many other compounds that we think of as atmospheric gases, such as our water vapor in our atmosphere, would be frozen at these temperatures. And in fact, as Pluto gets further and further out in the solar system, it will even freeze out the nitrogen gas. So it's thought that by now, as Pluto is in a very elliptical orbit and moving away from our sun, is that it, the atmosphere will become smaller and smaller, uh, eventually having no atmosphere until hundreds of years from now, it makes that next pass in a little bit closer to our sun and allows the warmth to then vaporize some of those ices to give it this atmosphere. But this is a way we can study the atmosphere by looking back from a spacecraft, taking images, looking back toward our sun and allowing us to see the haziness of the atmosphere around Pluto and to be able to study that by the sunlight passing through Pluto's atmosphere. So as the sunlight passes through the atmosphere, we can get absorption lines telling us what the atmosphere is made up of. So we can learn compositions of objects out in space without ever having a sample of them. We don't have any samples of Pluto's atmosphere, but we can use the uh, study of emission and absorption by different elements and the specific wavelengths that are involved there to tell us the compositions of things well beyond our ability to sample. So that was our picture of the day for March 26th of 2022. It was titled Pluto at Night. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Titanic Flash. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.